For all the attention paid to coffee today, how much do we really know? You've seen your coffee beans roasting, but do you know how they get their start? How was it planted? Who farmed it? How was it picked? I went to Armenia, Colombia, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, for its importance to coffee. And while a small farm might seem like the purview of your small coffee shop, we actually went along with the Nescafe Taster's Choice team to learn that the journey of Colombian coffee more often than not starts on a family farm, no matter what brand it ends up with. Colombia is the number one source of Arabica beans, meaning the good stuff. But the journey of a single bean takes more time and has more hands involved than you might think. We started at a nursery. Seeds are planted and sprout for two months until they become a plantlet. Then they're washed to prevent potential diseases, and then they're planted. It's delicate work to keep them properly planted. Very firm. They stay another three to four months in the nursery before they're ready to leave. And no matter whether your Colombian coffee comes from a huge brand or a small artisanal coffee shop, 96% of Colombian farmers have less than five acres, and it's often a family affair. Once the sprouted bean is planted, then it's still another long wait, two years until you get a crop. The plant flowers, becomes a green bean, and then finally turns into the red bean that's ready to pick. Each coffee tree grows for four or five years until it's cut back. After 18 months or so, it's ready to produce again for another three to four years until you repeat the cycle. A coffee tree can have a lifespan of around 25 years. When the beans are red, they're hand-picked and then pulped so that just the beans remain. It sits in water for 12 hours and then dries. From there, it goes to a mill. A farmer arrives and the mill does an analysis both physically and by machine to determine the quality based on size, weight, density, and color. Colombia only allows a certain standard to leave the country, so once they pass the test, they're ready to be bagged. There are challenges facing Colombian coffee growers. Global warming, younger generations wanting to leave the business. Groups like the Nescafe plan are attempting to train farmers to grow sustainably and get the most out of their crop. So the next time you pick up a cup of coffee from Colombia, think about the journey it took, from seed to plantlet to tree to a mill, and that's all before it leaves the country to be roasted, ground, and into your cup. Yeah,